Dan is a um, ex-cop, alcoholic, and trying to preside over a bunch of dysfunctional people. Poor guy. The fact that Zach wrote it, I was very impressed uh, with, uh, even more impressed after working on it with him, uh, that he could write so well. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It's interesting to work with the writer-director, uh, particularly when the writer is listening, or the director is listening. One of them listens, so sometimes it's difficult, but no, Zach is terrific. Mm -hmm. I had never worked with uh, any of these actors before, so uh, I'm sort of floored at uh, how good they all are. I mean, really, and Florence, of course, is she's just amazing. You know? She just turns stuff on, turn it off. I, I like that. She doesn't have to carry it around with her, but when she's on, she's completely on us. That's very nice to play with. Just the whole cast, actually. I mean, I'm not. This must be people he, Zach, knows, and other projects or something, because even when we did the read through, it was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> When I was a kid, uh, the Lionel train was maybe the most popular gift you could give a kid. I always wanted one. I never got one. It's the only thing in my entire life that I ever wanted and didn't get. Uh, so I understand the push to play with trains. Uh, I never got there myself having other things to do. But the idea of just going into your your train room and spending hours creating. It's really what they do. Create I'll create my own world. We're talking actually about a cast full of good people who are in all kinds of emotional stress, and, uh, but nobody is bad or evil. Uh, so I think it's, it's, a, it's a good title. You would think that it was aimed at one person. I don't. I think it's aimed at this entire cast of characters. You know. They all mean the best. <laughs>